Hi and welcome to this video for the BTEC Applied Science Level 3 Unit 5. So we're going to be going through some nomenclature here, posh words just for naming organic molecules. So if ever you see the IUPAC thing as well, that just means follow the set of rules that we'll be going through. So of the ones in here, we've got to go through alkanes, alkenes, how alkanes, alcohols, and also the cyclic structures, so cycl cycloalkanes uh, within that. And we've also got the branches. First off, we need to know how to count in carbons. So, meth, eth, prop, ut, ent, and hex. One, two, three, four, five six there so four carbons means butte six means hex one means meth and so on so last two shapes don't get three and five mixed up which a lot of people do and again five now in terms of the rules with it so step one find the longest carbon chain Step two, count from the side to give any branches the lowest sum total. Step three, branches are to be listed in alphabetical order, four, final one, If there's multiple of the same branch length, you can use die, try, or tetra to shorten them. But ignore for alphabetical purposes. So these few rules uh, will serve us quite well for going through a lot of these. So I'm just going to roll in with some examples of them. So alkanes, we'll start off nice and easiest. I'll show it fully displayed first off, but then I'm going to get a little bit lazier and start ignoring the hydrogens. So with this longest carbon chain, one, two, three, no branches on it, it's just straight. So this would simply be called prop, meaning three up there. And because it's an alkane, the suffix is in. So uh, let's change color. That means three carbons. And that bit there means it's an alkane functional group. Now, a bit more complex then. Let's start chucking in some branches. So I've got a single branch here, find the longest carbon chain, four along there, or if you wanted to curl up, that's perfectly fine, still four there. So this bit here, our longest chain is our parent 
Where is this one here? Here's a branch. So bear in mind, the exams are usually nice and have the parent laid straight across the page. It does not have to be. So run your finger across it. You can never go back on yourself. But just starting with the end carpens. So there, if I came across with this, and then I went up there, I cannot come back down on myself. That would have been a viable four as well. And it would actually give us the same name for this. So in terms of naming it, four carbons in the longest. So but because it's an alkane, carbons are all single bonded to each other. And again, I end with in. But now for the branch, for saying where it is, if I count from the left hand side, nope, that color is not visible at all. So I will stick with red and black. If I count from the left hand side, I can say one, two, three, four. So I could say the branch is on the third. Whereas if I count from the right hand side and say this is carbon one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and this branch is on carbon two, two is less than three, so therefore I go with that. So I say at position two, how many carbons are in the branch? One. I go up. One is meth. Now, because it's an alkane as a branch, I need the prefix rather than the suffix, which is a YL. So just to break the name down. Carbon two. There is one carbon. An alkane functional group. On a four carbon parent. That is also an alkane functional group. So, just to get a bit tougher yet, yeah, multiple branches we'll start introducing now so we can tick off rules three and four. Right, so lots here to get out. If you can do this one, then you're sorted for the alkanes, definitely. <clears throat> so longest chain, again, I've made it easy straight across the middle. You could curve around there and say five, but you go for the, if there's a joint between them, you go for the parent being the one with the most substituents. Unlikely they're going to expect you to know that in the exam. So it'll always be given to you. So parent there. Branch. 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 And again there. Right, so this is going to be quite a big name. First off, the parent bit. I'm going to leave myself a significant amount of space. Pent, five, pentagon, 
to an alkane, so I end with in. Now, for the branches, let's start counting. So if I count from the left, one, two, three, four, five, then I've got two branches at number two. So from the left, two plus two, I've got one at number three and one at number four. So plus three, plus four. So if I add all of those together, I get 11. Whereas if I count from the right, then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from the right, I've got 1 at 2, 1 at 3, and I've got 2 at 4, which equals 13. So 11 is less than 13. I'm going to count from the left. So this bit up here is a 2. It's just one carbon. It would be a methyl. Likewise here. This is two carbons in the branch, and it's at number 3. So this would be a 3-ethyl. And this would be a 4 methyl. So they're all alkane branches coming off. So alphabetical order, E comes before M, regardless of the numbers. So first off, 3 ethyl. Now, rather than writing 2 methyl, 2 methyl, 4 methyl, I can shorten this down a little bit. What I say is 2, 2, 4, tri methyl. So notice the tri tells me there's three methyl groups. So tri methyl. And because there's three groups, I therefore need three numbers. Even though two of them are on the same here, I need to tell people that in case it was you know 20 carbons long it could have been one on two one on four and one on six for example <clears throat> so just to highlight again position three There's two carbons hanging off And at positions two, two, and four, there is one carbon hanging off. Five carbon parent alkane functional. Okay, so I'll pause then, go through the others in the next video since we need to dash out now.